There's something that I've... Uh, it just keeps, seems to get bigger and bigger and re- received a few messages on it as well. Someone said that they're teaching them at school this. What? So, yep. Yeah. Teaching them at school? Like the theory. So I want to talk to you about it. I had a conversation for nearly 10 minutes at the gym two days ago about this very thing. Okay. Is the world flat and not round? Stop it. So I, when I heard... When I Why heard, is this being... I don't understand. When I first heard it, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this guy telling me about? And so I went home and I did my own little research. By research, I meant watching, watching YouTube. Yeah. Um, I want to. I know that there'd be people listening to this show right now that have been hearing this theory and now would believe that the world is flat. That's insane. Like it's flat. It's not round. That's insane. It's flat. Mm. And I want. I want to hear from you. I want to see if you can get this theory across to me, okay, Pretty and Rossi, and why people are saying that the world is flat. But you had a conversation with someone at the gym yeah, and they and had very good theories and you started thinking to yourself, hang on, he's well, got a point. I went from just like completely going, this guy is woo to now. Yeah. Yeah. What, you're believing it now? I'm not believing it, no. Okay. I don't believe it. Okay. But my mind is always open to these type of things. My okay. mind's telling me no. But my body. <laughs> uh, zero four four two three one thousand. Call me. I want to get your views on... Is the world flat? Okay. Kino, do you believe the world is flat? Yeah, Chris, I do believe the world is flat. You have raised a good point. I'm start thinking about it. The world is flat, actually. Yeah. Why though? <laughs> are you? Did you? Uh, now, I'm being serious though. Like, are you really thinking that the world is flat? Uh, yeah. If it is, uh, it is flat, man. If it was round, you know, we were, we would have been slipping to the side. Slipping to the side. But then there's yeah, gravity. Break. Bring, bring a football and try to put a water on the top of that. It would be slipping to the sides, right? Yeah. Mm, don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, trying, the idea. I'm trying to work out, are you being serious here or you're joking? Uh, actually, it might have an effect to the idea you suggested, and I have a lack, I'm suffering of lack of sleepness yesterday. I slept only four hours yesterday. So right. it, it might have, it sounds like a good idea now. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Weird. Um... <laughs> Okay, so the, the, why is the Earth curved in NASA photos, but in amateur one? So basically the theory here is that they're saying that, and I don't believe this, I'm not saying, but this is what the theory is, that NASA is controlling all the images that we see from space, that they're putting on a fish lens to make the, the world look round. When it's... When it's actually it. flat. And every 10 minutes, what? NASA kicks out a new picture of the globe, of Earth, and those are photoshopped. What? what? This is another level. Why don't planes have to fly downwards? If the Earth was round, planes would surely keep flying into off into space. So when it goes up, it just keeps going up. All right. So, okay, I got what you mean. Okay. These are so. These are some the, of the reasons people say it's flat. Yes. So why isn't it harder to fly east? If the Earth was a ball, why would be why would it be harder to fly east? Because the atmosphere is moving in the other direction. Anyway, there's all these little theories going around, and I'm just gonna. I've got a lot of calls of people saying that it's not flat. I'm trying to get someone that believes that it's flat. You know, some people are, have understood the theories, have been watching it, and they actually it makes you think they're saying. You know, like well, Brendan. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, we're going to go to Zabina, Zarina, Zarina up here. Um, you believe that your nephew is getting taught this at school? Yes. Like last week, he told me that his teacher told them, the old class, that the world is flat. And I asked him, do you believe your teacher? And, they, and then he said like 70% I believed her because she was a teacher. So you know, there was a teacher, a teacher teaching the kids that the world is flat. Now, I do have a, um, Anonymous on the phone here. Anonymous, uh, you, you think some of the theories could be true that the world is flat. Explain to me. Look, it's a bit whack because if you think about it, ever since we were kids, that is everything that we were taught. But if you really think about it, we only know what we know from the people that we know and what they know, right? Yeah. So... When I, I mean, the topic came up probably about a, two months ago, and also another conversation within the gym. 
<laughs> I mean, I think these gym guys are all whack. <laughs> but this, it's, <laughs> it's too much testosterone. But I started to do the research on YouTube. But again, you know, it's only YouTube. It's, it's, it's the internet. You can't believe everything that you, that you read. But it's an interesting theory just to look into and how to understand what these people out there are actually thinking. But it's not impossible. It's not possible. But what's interesting is if you Google a picture of Earth, you don't see any real photo. That's weird for me. That's it. Wait, you're saying if you go... But what about the photos that, like, you know, astronauts and stuff they're put up saying, on Twitter they're, they're, and all they're that? They're saying, this is what the theory is after me watching a lot about it, they're saying that everything that we get from NASA and all the other space it's people, all it's all CGI, it's what they want to put out. It's, Even is, the astronauts? They're say, yeah, I mean, and remember, there, really? are, there are some people, really? yeah, go. You know, you can, you know, you can go on to the NASA station and look at uh, pretty much 24 hours of the live feed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why doesn't that, um, why doesn't the camera go all the way to the back? It only goes from a certain angle, from left to right. This is, this it's is. interesting. It is interesting. You're, Deep. You're, you're getting uh, me on the Thanks, Anonymous. Nestle. Thank you, Anonymous. Is the world flat? That's what uh, some people are saying now. If you get some time, go and check it out. Uh, on YouTube, maybe, if you want, do your own little research. Uh, Eleanor, you're saying there's no chance that the world is flat. No, be- uh, because, uh, good morning, and no, because um, if the world was flat, if the world was flat, then why do, we, why do we have different seasons? Why is there light in one certain area of the world, and why is there night in the other? Maybe. It's a point. Agreed. It's a point. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just go go and do some more research. I want to. If anyone still believe, if someone is certain that the world is flat, give me a call. All right. That's all I'm going to say. If someone believes that the world is flat and they can convince me right now, call me zero four four two three one thousand. Because uh, after doing my own research over the last sort of forty eight hours, hearing my mates at the gym talk about it, yeah. I'm still convinced that the world is. Is round. Round. Is round. And and I'll tell you, the, the, the same people who are saying it's flat are saying that we never landed on the, the moon. moon. Same people. That's a big one as well. Everyone always says that, that it was faked. Yep. One of the, the people in our office actually believes that it's fake yep. as well, right? You're 100%. right. Kyle. Yes. Morning. Good morning. Tell me, you is the world flat or round? The world is flat. Okay. Explain. Okay. Like, it's, it's exactly like you had a caller on while I was driving, and she said that her nephew is being taught this in school, that the world is flat. Yep. Now, all through our childhood, we've been taught this in school. From the first classroom we walked in, there yep. was a globe, and we could spin it. And that was the image we had of the world. As we grew up, we never, ever challenged it or researched it ourselves. Okay, so you're saying because we were fed information as a child... You believe it. Exactly. And if you, like, okay, just let's, let's look at some, like, like uh, logistics. If you fly from Australia to, example, South Africa, yep. which on the round globe, it's a straight shot from Australia to South Africa. Okay. And it shouldn't take you more than 10 hours, example. Now, if you want to fly to Australia, uh, to South Africa from Australia, you need to fly to Dubai, which is on the top of the round map and then back down to South Africa. Why? It doesn't make sense. But is that because there's a connecting flight? Like, it's... Because Emirates, a, Emirates you know, stops has to in go Dubai. Through Dubai. You, can't, yeah. you can't get a direct flight. You can try and find one. Maybe you'll pay a million, but you will never get a direct flight from Australia to South Africa. If you look at the UN logo, okay, this is... The, I'm going to blow the top off this now. <laughs> I want you to research this. Okay, look I'm... Look at the, the United Nations logo. It I'm looking a, at it. A, it has a map of the Earth that doesn't look like our map of the Earth. I'm looking at it now, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Can you see where Australia is? It's right at the top. Is that Australia? Yeah, that little one. Yeah, that's Australia right at the top. And on the same documentary that you probably watched, it, 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 the man explains the same thing. He says that the, the flying time, if you calculate the flying time, it matches to that map. That's the flat Earth map. The UN logo is the flat Earth map. When did you and when did you start? When did you realize or want to believe that the world was flat? It was it was obviously just like you. Some conversations with some buddies, but 
when I researched it, I went in depth. I mean, I I, I took like a week and researched the stuff and. Okay. All the evidence points to us living on a flat earth. Oh. But if we can see the moon, why is that round and we're flat? No idea. We are the centre <laughs> of the universe. <laughs> we are the centre <laughs> of the All universe. All right, listen, everyone's allowed to have their own That's thoughts. That's true. That is true. Um, we're ben, getting so many messages on this. Ben, you believe the world is flat? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, actually, I think it's all a case of uh, relativity. Uh, there's no completely straight line. There's no completely flat surface. So relative to a ruler uh or you know ourselves the world is flat it's as flat as a piece of paper would be to you know a very small thing uh and so yes indeed it is flat relative to a certain degree of straightness okay that confused me even more but <laughs> Fouad, you've got the th- you know you don't believe it's flat but you're telling me here is the theory why they're saying it's flat yeah, so if you've got a... Hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. Hi. If you've got a helicopter, you're keeping a station, stationary position. If the world is flat, essentially, you the world would just go on by and the helicopter would arrive at its destination without actually moving anywhere. So it's like a, 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 a sort of conveyor belt. You stand on top of a conveyor belt and the thing just whizz by. But why, uh, but wh- I, why is know, it I moving, though? I don't believe in that theory. Uh, if you think about the earth being round you've got uh, light refracts if you do an experiment you watch light refraction light bends and it can only bend because we're in a sphere okay uh, this is all too com- this is all too, this is too very scientific me, thank yeah. you for one my mind doesn't understand stuff like I'm, that i'm well on it uh, if the UA discovered what the real shape is don't you think uh russia would have been the first to send an astronaut i don't know uh, well, the- how do you get the sun and the moon, if it's not round. It, yeah, I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm, I believe that the world is uh, is round. Yeah. And we're so many messages. Our previous caller who had said that there's no flight from yes. Australia to South Africa, there is. There's a direct flight. So. There is. And there, there is the, one. The United Nations flag is apparently the view from the North Pole looking down. They do have a circle to make it look like they flatten out like a globe. Do you know All what I mean? Right. Well, there it is. Go. This is crazy. Oh. I'm going to watch some documentaries. Yeah, now. exactly. What I, the reason why I want to talk about this, you guys go home tonight or when you get to work, just start doing your own little uh, investigation and uh, put it to rest or start to believe. <laughs> I think you just did that to get loads of weirdos on the radio. I think no. that's what it Are was. Are you calling them weirdos? No, I'm just saying like... Rossi just... So uh, yesterday we, we, we brought up this topic because I was talking to a couple of the boys at the gym about it, yeah. about the world being flat. Uh, a few of them were convinced. We discussed it here on yep. the show. Thousands of messages, hundreds of calls, and... Uh, the man behind the theory of this, he's one of the main men around the world. He's got a YouTube account. He's the one that says, you know what? It's 100% flat. He's yeah. a pioneer, apparently. And I'll convince you. His name is Mark Sargent. We've got him on the phone right now yeah. from America. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Sir, thank you for taking this call. So yesterday yes. <laughs> on the show... I uh, I brought up this topic because me and the boys at the gym, one of them started to- restarted talking to me about this, and initially I was like, "Go away! What's wrong with you?" I did a bit of my own research mm-hmm. at the same time that evening. I then brought it up on the radio yesterday, and we got hundreds of calls, thousands of messages, and now we've got yourself on the phone because you were one of the I, I want to say the pioneers of of men who are put who's putting this out that the world is flat. Yeah, yeah, I'm part of the new movement, no question, and and I'm 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 pretty high up there at this point. Okay, so, <laughs> so what are the theories? What are the theories? Why is the Earth flat? Uh, okay, long story short, too many things are pointing to a flat Earth, like lack of curvature, eight inches per mile squared. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere. Somebody take me a picture. Boats going over the horizon. Yeah. It looks that way from the beach, but then you can zoom back in on them with a telescopic camera, and you can keep zooming on them, even though they should be on the other side of the hill. NASA, lack of everything. Do not trust the Americans when it comes to space. They were never at the moon. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wow. And I'm saying this from an American standpoint. 1972 was the first picture of Earth ever taken. You know when the second picture was taken? Two years ago. 43 years went between the first blue marble shot and the second blue marble shot. White House tweeted it. Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted it. Uh, there are no movies of the Earth rotating on its axis from space with the weather morphing. There is no movie of any astronaut outside of a space anything, not interior shots, but exterior shots, 
where he even turns 180 degrees or further with the camera running. That includes the moon, that includes Gemini and Mercury and all those things. The Antarctic Treaty of 1959 sealed off Antarctica for all time. Antarctica is not a continent like Australia, where it's a, like an island-type continent. It is, instead of a globe, we're on kind of like a, a big dinner plate. But it, in, there's two schools of thought here. Either it's a flat disk, which is open-ended and it goes on infinitely, or it is the Truman Show. If you guys remember the 1998 yeah, John Yeah, my movie, favorite movie. Got a, we're a dome over a head. And that would answer a lot of questions. People like, why would people care? Why would people care? I was like, are you kidding? The second Truman even had a hint that the world isn't what he thought it was. That's all he cared about. He obsessed about it until he finally broke free. Okay, <laughs> my, okay my question is, thank you for that. My yeah. question is, can you, then, can you walk to the edge? Is there an edge that, yeah. that there, would, there would be a drop? They, they look, you can't walk to it. They look for the edge. Look up a guy named Admiral Richard E. Byrd, the, the greatest living explorer of all time. Well, he was until he died in 1957. The youngest United States admiral became admiral at the age of 41. He spent the better part of his life from 1928 until 1956 looking for the edge in plains in Antarctica. And then finally, when he found it during Operation Deep Freeze, which was 1955, 1956, that's when they locked that place down. They shut down Antarctica. They shut down the upper edge. They called it the Van Allen Radiation Belt. And then they had to militarize space. The Russians and the United States, they've been buddies on this since day one. There was no space race. It was just to keep this thing, lock this thing down. It was no coincidence. Van Allen announced the Van Allen Radiation Belts in 1959, and the Antarctic Treaty is locked down in the same year. Now, All no right. coincidence. Nobody's, nobody's been back to the moon in 1972. No country's been back to the moon in, in 40, 50, 60 years. Mm. Nobody's done anything. Yeah, SpaceX right. gonna gonna send tourists there next year? No, not not gonna happen. Okay, um, where, where do we follow you at? Yeah. If people want to know more, where, where what's the YouTube page? What's Instagram? What is it? Okay, uh, the YouTube. You know what? Forget the, the YouTube page is gonna be too hard to remember because it's my name, Mark K. Sargent. So when you go into YouTube, all you have to do is type in if you want to see the entire community, and it is massive. Type in Flat Earth in YouTube. That's all you have to do. Okay. okay. If you want to see my stuff? If, if you want to see my stuff, type in Flat Earth Clues. And you will see it. The website's called enclosedworld.com, but you're going to get there anyway. And do, you know, again, don't take any of what I've said as truth. Do your own research and ask questions. But while you're at it, do fun things like uh, find any search engine, I don't care what it is, and type in the earth is. Tell me what you see at the top of the list. That's just a side effect of our community over the last 18 months. All right. It's amazing. Amazing how far this thing has gotten. All right. Well, listen. Uh, believe it or not, or you, you, the way the way you speak about this is, you, 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 I'm sold. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sold, mate. I'm sold. All right. Uh, go and go and YouTube it yourself. Go check it out. Flat Earth. Uh, Mark Sargent, you're, you're, you're a gem for being on. I know it was last minute we got you on and appreciate it. Go do your thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. What do you think, guys? I don't I'm so confused now. <laughs> what is like, happening? Listen, I still believe the world is yes. round, but all I'm saying is, like, he, yeah. he has a good case. If, I would buy a car off like, him. Like, now? <laughs> I, I, he is, he is sold. Yeah.